Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Libra friends and friends of Libra. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So Libra, I've missed you guys. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I know it's been a minute since I've gotten one out for you. So <clears throat> looking at your energy here in meditation, and then there was uh, an oracle card that was requested, uh, and then we'll get into tarot for you, okay? As we do. So Libra, when I was meditating on your energy here, a um, couple things came through. I was shown a lotus blooming, like a lotus flower blooming. Um, and I know, you know, the lotus can symbolize um, creation, rebirth, that sort of thing. It can also um, symbolize um, like kundalini energy as well, the lotus blooming. Um I did look it up for additional messages and I'm glad I did because I actually, I mean, for, I don't know everything about everything, I guess that's for sure. But, um, what I learned was that the Lotus actually, once nightfall hits, goes underwater. And then once the sun comes back up, actually comes up from being submerged. Um, I had no idea. Actually, I didn't realize that, <laughs> that that's what a Lotus flower did. So, um, I love that symbology. Um, <clears throat> especially because, uh, you know, typically it's like creation, rebirth, like I said. Um, what I pulled from that example, though, was like water being the emotional realm, especially something about like retreating into this emotional realm, um, but coming back up for the much needed sunlight or that masculine energy, the emotional realm being more the divine feminine, the dark and the light being the sun, the divine masculine. I just loved it. I thought it was a great example. Uh, great symbology. So the next thing that I was shown was a dragonfly with um, titanium wings. So the dragonfly can also symbolize rebirth. I feel like rebirth is a big topic here that we're talking about. Um, with the titanium on there, it, it brought me to the song Titanium by Sia. Um, shoot me down. I can't even remember it now. Basically, you get up. You can't keep you can't. <laughs> can't stop won't stop right um i can't believe i'm forgetting that song right now but it's you who have further to fall anyway it's basically saying like um you you can't keep me down okay you're gonna you're gonna come back from that so i was told to work with the white light oracle today um and this is one that i don't put on the channel because there are, um, or is nudity, I guess. And to be honest with you, I'm going to contact YouTube here soon, um, <clears throat> to get a more specific, like what is okay and what isn't because their policy with nudity is obviously, you know, we're not trying to be egregious with nudity here, but when it comes to art, which tarot cards are, um, especially these ones, I feel like it should be okay for it to be in its natural state. The only reason I explain this is because there are um, bare breasts on this card here, Anaposis. So sorry for the painter's tape. I just didn't want to take a chance, okay? Until I know for sure what's okay. So uh, beautiful artwork though, so I hate to do this. <laughs> I do feel like I want to read this first little blurb to you guys, okay? Uh, it says, do not give up but allow your heart to disengage from your struggles. Give yourself much needed rest. You are in a phase of recovery. If you have been off your path, you're going to come back strong. You will regain your spark of passion, inspiration, and devotion. A certain order of events needs to take place for your soul path to come to fruition. Commit yourself to your sacred journey, trusting that the right thing will happen at the right time. Um, so this also says, uh, it's a Greek word, anaposis, refers to the cessation of work so one can regain strength, renew vitality, and heighten creative productivity. So I love that those messages were coming in with the lotus flower and the dragonfly, this idea of like rebirth, creation, um, and just mm, with the example with the lotus, that idea of it like it, it needs to submerge underwater <laughs> in order to come back up like this is its life, its life cycle. Um, so with Anaposis coming in too, I'm just getting that you guys are, um, maybe tired, burnt out. Um, there may be some fear here as well. There may even be a break going on. I kind of get the vibe of like, um, there might even be a cessation of like income coming in for some of you. So there is this fear, but like Anaposis is saying, um, it's on purpose. Okay. 
it is uh, it is for a very specific reason. There's there's something going on to help move you where you need to go on your path currently. Okay. Okay, Libra. So let's get into your message with the tarot. See where this goes. I'm going to start here with the um, uh, Phantasma deck is what this is called. So Spirit, what do we have here for Libra? And huge shout out, you guys, to... Um, oh, I love Empress just fell out here. <laughs> Speaking of rebirth and healing and taking time to heal. Yes, I love the echo. Thank you, Spirit. Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support, as always. Um, if you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a join button next to the subscribe button. If you haven't hit that yet, please hit the subscribe. Um, there's also a link there in the description of the video if you want to want to go that route. And while you're there, you can check out my website if you'd like. I am offering personal readings, and those are open currently. Which one? Which one? So Ace of Swords here at the bottom. This is your um, hope, hopes and dreams. I'm trying to get this at the right angle here for you guys to be able to see some of these cards. So um, what you're hoping for, what you're wanting... Ace of Swords is the truth. It is knowledge. It is um, logical thinking. It is logic that's not swayed by emotion or um, intuition either. So I'm kind of getting dovetailing off of what's come through with meditation and the Oracle. Um, I am getting this like there's fear going on right now. There's emotion that um, specifically surrounding those of you that this message applies to where maybe there's a lack of income right now. Um, something that is messing with your uh, ability to feel safe or secure. So that fear that's coming up, like you're hoping for this logic, you're hoping to think clearly, but there's something about your, uh, like maybe even trying to over tap into intuition because of the emotions that you're experiencing right now is making it difficult for you to like get to the truth, to the heart of the matter with something. So let's keep going. I feel that. No doubt, no doubt. So what do we have here for Libra, please spirit? Spirit. This is the um, Deviant Moon Tarot, excuse me. It's the Deviant Moon Tarot course. What do we have here for Libra? And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. If it does resonate with you, please allow it to resonate. Um, use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and which ones are not. Feel free to leave them behind if they're not. And check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of what's going on in your story currently. Presently, okay? So strength here. This is your, um, this is your fear, aversion, anxiety. I kind of get... Um, Especially in this deck with the strength card, strength is about like, inner strength, strength of the heart, uh, love winning over hate, the higher mind overcoming the lower animal impulses. With this deck in particular, though, this person, thing, whatever, entity, is looking into the mouth of this like fish alligator. <laughs> um, so I get this like digging deep, looking for looking for some strength or some fortitude to get you through something. Um, being in your fear or anxiety, I get that this is something that you're afraid, like, this is in combination with the Ace of Swords here. This is the emotion, this fear that you don't have the strength, that you don't have the resiliency to get through whatever it is that you're getting through right now. But I'm here to tell you, you do. Okay, Libra? You do. That's exactly what Anapostis is saying. Um, there was, did I read that other part? I feel like Spirit's showing me turning the page, and I don't think I read that. I didn't. Let me read this uh, real quick, and then we'll, we'll move into the reading here. <clears throat> the tarot. Anapostis brings special guidance for those who have been going through deeply challenging struggles of mind, body, and soul. Perhaps you feel exhausted, confused, and afraid. Even if you are still going strong in the outer world, you have a need for spiritual convalescence. You are encouraged to allow yourself adequate rest and to engage in activities geared toward healing. Um, so that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this is like you're searching for this strength to get through something. Um, but the process that you're on right now, um, like I feel like the strength is is patience or faith, trust, knowing that you are being led, you are being taken care of because um, it feels very much whatever the situation is that you guys are going through. <clears throat> that's probably the last thing that you're feeling right now. OK, and I, I get I've been there. I get it. <laughs> I get that. Okay. So let's see what, what we have here message wise for you. 
Um, so general to start, you guys have Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is a new journey. Um, looking, looking at the rest of this message here, I love to see this actually, you guys. Something new starting. Um, so I feel like you guys are kind of in the Ten of Ten of Wands phase right now, where there is a need to release some burden, some weight, emotional weight, something that's weighing heavy on your heart. Um, it's bringing you down, man. Okay. But you're moving towards this new journey. And this could be, I feel like for some of you, um, I am getting like an explosive, passionate kind of creative, which is totally Ace of Wands, kind of a matchstick energy to start that uh, powder keg, right? Um, I don't always get that from this though. New journey, but for some of you, I feel like you guys are going to be hella excited about whatever this new journey is that's starting. Like it feels... Um, it feels like a harsh dichotomy to wherever you are right now. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so the tower, the tower comes through. And just so that you guys know, cause I've heard, I've had people make comments about my laughter sounding nervous. That was a nervous laugh. Okay. But, um, typically I'm not nervous doing this just as a heads up. You guys, I just, that's my laugh. I don't know what to tell you. Tower comes through here. <laughs> so the tower, um, we are talking about a major upheaval. I feel like this is something that has already, like, if there is an upheaval that's happened with this, it's already happened. This is why you guys are in this place of maybe feeling fear, feeling scared to know, well, what is the way, what is the way through here? How am I going to, how am I going to start again here with the Ace of Wands? Um, with the tower though, before the tower comes down, that crack of lightning, this is, um, I think more of a, like a alien spaceship. <laughs> Either way, I guess it brings, um, it brings with it this illumination. Like there's something that is seen. There's something that's understood that wasn't before, uh, right before this tower comes down and the tower has to come down. We build these towers, they come down. Okay. Um, this need something needed to change, maybe even violently for some of you, in order to move you towards whatever is coming next for you. So let's explore that a little bit further. Good stuff. Good stuff for you here. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. And I feel like some of you are um, maybe going through uh, a bit of a dark night. Dark night of the soul for some of you, okay? Uh, the gin is what comes through as your good stuff. So <clears throat> the djinn is uh, the devil, the devil. <laughs> um, I, like, I like the djinn here, being more like a genie in this situation. I feel like uh, bringing a wish into that, there's something you guys are going through you're wishing to be out of. Being in the good stuff here, um, this is why I feel the tower, the towers come down, why the tower needed to come down for you to start whatever this new journey is. There's a portion of you in your shadow, your experience in your shadow, where I'm kind of getting like, I'm kind of getting that this tower was built as a way to avoid going into this portion of your shadow, whether that is, um, you know, a chain, something keeping you chained to this physical realm an addiction of some sort, um, from substances to food, relationships there's many different kinds of addictions and we all dabble right we all dibble dabble uh we're all human <laughs> uh but a lot of the time what we do have sequestered to the shadow uh is not bad right um light and dark do not equate to good and bad that is also a pretty human construct what i'm getting from this is there's a portion like even from childhood there's a portion of your experience that um deserves to be a part of what you're experiencing right now and hasn't been allowed to take the stage, so to speak. I'm getting theater. Hasn't been allowed to take the stage uh, for quite some time. So with whatever this ruckus is with the tower coming down and this new journey starting, it's, um, it's releasing you from this cage here. It's like a little, I don't know, turkey, <laughs> whatever that is. A little turkey in the cage. Oh, I love it. Speaking of love, um, the other card coming through here for your good stuff, you have the lovers. The lovers! So, um, <laughs> I do feel like there is uh, potentially some love available for some of you. 
the lovers, I think a lot of the time gets portrayed a bit heavily on the romance side because I mean, who doesn't want that, right? Well, if that's what you're looking for, <laughs> you want it strongly. Um, so I do feel like there is a possibility of love coming forward for some of you. Um, but I do feel it's a bit with having the gin here, the devil, the devil and the lovers, it feels like this is more an opportunity to bring something into a more cohesive state. The lovers speaking of the light and dark. Um, and I love how they mismatch the, the light and dark with the genders here. The shadow or the dark is the feminine, the divine feminine and the light is or the conscious is the divine masculine. Um, so it kind of feels like, yeah, like what was once dark is now coming to light, is now becoming a part of your current experience. Good. I kind of, can I get just a little bit more information on that, please, Spirit? Try not to go too much into these without the extended, but I want to know. Um, can you give me a little more information on the lovers and the gym? Three of Cups. Ooh, you guys. <laughs> um, so for some of you, this is this is um, like a celebration. It's a victory. Celebrating with uh, your kindred spirit, spirits here, your soul tribe. Um, I see this as though, like this could be a reunion for some of you. This is not for everybody, but I am getting this kind of like reunion effect. Um, maybe something happened between you and somebody else or somebody's else. <laughs> and, um, and this is the portion that has been sequestered to the shadow here. Maybe you feel like you messed something up or they messed something up. Maybe it was an actual romantic relationship that happened here too. What, whatever it is though, things are being balanced out. I'm being brought back to the anapausis again, where, um, you guys are on this specific part of your journey for a specific reason okay hold on i know it'll the sun will come back up okay you will bloom again like that lotus right you're just underwater right now you're just underwater you guys it's fine <laughs> it's fine so what you don't see coming here <laughs> what you don't see coming um or what is in the dark you have the hermit so the hermit is about um well gaining insight by going inside, <laughs> inside of ourselves, um, through meditation, by disconnecting more with the outside world, you are finding this guiding light inside of you. And I feel like the purpose of all of this, what you don't see here, the reason why you may be feeling isolated, or you may be feeling alone, abandoned even for some of you, it's not that that's the case. It's that you are being strongly encouraged to, um, like what you may be afraid of here with strength, you're being strongly encouraged to do just this, to look inside. You may be afraid that that strength isn't there, but it is. Oh, but it is, my Libra friend. So check it out, okay? Um, Knight of Pentacles comes through here next to clarify the Hermit. So uh, both of these cards, Knight of Pentacles is, um, all the Knights are about action, some sort of action or speed. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight or the non-moving Knight. So along with the Hermit, this message that you may not see, the purpose of this right now, you are meant to slow down. And Apostles is talking, is literally saying, take a break, you guys. And what I'm getting is like, if you're finding... If you're finding that there is just a wall at every turn right now, um, sometimes walls are not meant to like always be launched over. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes they're there to say, stop, <laughs> um, in a culture, I know it's not just America, but capitalism in general, this grind culture, or push, push, push. Everything is about getting better. Or if you run into a block, your job is to just obliterate it. Right. Um, I think about the elephant card in the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle deck, symbolizing Ganesh or Ganesha. The obliterator of obstacles, sure, but sometimes um, there is an obstacle placed in your way in order to help you through an obstacle. So that's kind of what I'm getting with this. Like this is a this is a period for you to come up with a plan. You don't need to engage in that plan right now. What I'm getting is like. Um, 
what world would you be living in? What would you be doing? What relationships would you have if there were no restrictions? If, if what you have as a restriction right now was not there, if money wasn't an issue, if distance wasn't an issue, if time wasn't an issue. I'm getting to dream big, okay? This is the time, and I feel like this may even be the part, this kind of um, childlike essence inside of you that's been told to go sit in a corner and think about what they did, but they didn't do anything wrong. They were dreaming, right? That's kind of the component I'm getting is to come back here is things have kind of come apart here so that you can dream it back together. So you can put together what it is that you actually want to be there. Okay. So let's look at your challenge, your obstacle in this period. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love it. I love this. I do love my job. I do, you guys. So <laughs> the first card coming through here in your obstacle, you have the hanged man. This is hilarious. Um, not making fun of any frustration because I, I mean, anytime I'm in this place too, as a Gemini, <clears throat> waiting around or holding up is not what I want to be doing. So the hanged man here is um, a pause. <laughs> it's a forced break. Um, the divine is, is creating this obstacle here right now for you to see something from a different angle. That's exactly what was going on here with the tower. The purpose of all of that coming down is for you to see something differently. And this card in particular, actually, the hanged man that's hanging down here looks to me like a child. It's very childlike features anyway. Um, yeah. The hermit can... I, I just get... I'm getting this with the hermit like... Don't... If... No. Oh, slow down. Let's say you are isolated even. You're in solitude. Make the most of it. In solitude, there, there is, there's benefit in solitude as well, right? It's not healthy in the long run to be so disconnected or to make yourself an island. But in this period, there is something that you're being asked to see. And I feel like it's what your inner child here wants to do. <laughs> It's what your inner child here has wanted to do this whole time. The lovers, um, <coughs> excuse me, the lovers can also symbolize back to your good stuff. Uh, it's a need to make a decision, being at a crossroads, doing what you think you ought to do versus doing what you want to do. So I feel like this is kind of, I'm hearing grand reset. This is your opportunity here to like, yep, some things may be falling away. Maybe those things even provided security for you. But if you can try to look at this a little bit differently, or at least have faith, just trust, um, you guys are being led, okay, to where you need to go. What is that in the, in the Bible? It says, is it like, be not afraid? It says it like 365 times. Um, I love that. Just as like a, an overarching message for anything, we are here and we are being asked to stop being afraid or at least to um, pursue anyway, okay? That's where courage comes in, right? That's where this strength is coming in. You're looking for this courage, but you're afraid that it's not there. It is. Look at, look at how far you've come. Look at where you are now. Look at everything that you've come through. You have a 100% success rate of getting through all of the shit that you have. What makes you think that you won't get through this too? Don't give in to the fear, okay? Allow this... <laughs> allow this pause to do exactly what it needs to do. So a, a magician here is what comes in next. As your obstacle. So this is the will to create. I do feel like there is, um, even beyond like a deflating sort of feeling with whatever you're experiencing, it feels like something major has been taken away. Um, something that has provided security and strength. So your will to manifest here, you do have everything that you need to manifest. I feel like it's the spirit component here, right? Because you have earth, wind, water, fire, um, heart, stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moon. To manifest here, um, the spirit of, or the component of ether or spirit is a part of manifesting here with the magician. And I feel like that that is the obstacle for you guys right now, is engaging your spirit, is going, okay, I'm here. Yep, maybe I'm afraid. 
I've never been here before. I don't know the way out, but I know there is a way out. I know that I do have everything that I need, including the spirit team that's with you helping guide you. Lean on that, okay? Lean on that, Libra. All right, I am going to pull an animal spirit oracle card here to close this out, and then I'm going to move into an extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, there are links in the description of this video. <clears throat> but if this is where I leave you, then um, thank you guys for joining me. So what do we have here for Libra, please, spirit? <laughs> okay, kind of both of these here. So mouse here at the bottom um, definitely stands out to me, but you have whale as well. So the mouse is, um, yeah, it's a message of like anxiety and what, what we need to do with it in order for it to not get the best of us. Um, the mouse here, I think about, <laughs> just look at those glazed over eyes. Um, they can have so much anxiety that they just start chewing on this wire, right? They're just mindlessly chewing on this wire. They have no idea what they're even doing until, uh, they get to a point where they're shocked, right? Maybe they, maybe they die. Maybe they're unalive. So this kind of energy is really difficult for the mouse, and it's really difficult for those that love the mouse, too. So there's an encouragement here to watch your anxiety. I understand it's not a switch, okay? I'm not saying that. Um, if it is a situation where you need help, I encourage you to go get help with that. Um, I do get what comes through right away is exercise. If you're not moving that energy somewhere, start doing that. Okay. Meditating, exercising your emotional space and physically exercising, breaking a sweat, getting your heart rate up. Both are needed. Divine masculine and divine feminine in balance. So the whale is about diving deep, um, diving into some deep emotions and they're comfortable with that. But the, um, the whale even in the book describes that the whale even needs to come up for air. So I feel like for, for you guys here, that's what's happening. Whatever this break is that you're being asked to see things a little bit differently is um, this is you coming up for air. You were diving the depths. It may not be an emotional experience, but uh, whatever it was you were doing, I feel like for some of you, you know, advancing in a job, um, getting better at a skill, maybe health has set you back or put a pause on things. Um, this is your version of coming up for air. Okay, so I like to see that. I just feel like it's a, a good final wrap up here to say you guys are okay, okay? And it is okay to take a break, especially when it's forced. Like, especially when it's forced. Um, the encouragement I'm getting there is to uh, center and calm to figure out, is this something that needs to be pushed through or is it something where you need to breathe through, okay? I love you, Libra. Thank you guys so much for joining me here in the general. Like I said, I'm going to move into the extended. If you want to join me there, I'd love to see you. Um, I do have personal readings available, like I said, and I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in there. Also, I do accept tips or donations. Thank you guys so much to those who do support the channel in that way. It truly goes a long way, and I am deeply, deeply grateful. If you did enjoy this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'd love to see you guys in the future. Okay, take care, Libra. Be well.